In this tutorial, we'll explore one of Drupal's core themes, Stark. You'll learn to recognize the Stark theme and identify its primary features, as well as explain the use case for this theme and what you can learn from it. Let's take a tour exploring Stark's primary features and which theme development concepts it demonstrates. First, let's set Stark as the default theme here on the main appearance page. We can find Stark either in the installed or uninstalled themes, depending on if you've installed it before. I'll go ahead and click set as default and then head back to the site. As you can see, there are no styles applied. I have configured my Drupal 8 site for theme development so that I can see which template files are being applied. Choose any element and inspect it. As you can see, the core system templates are being applied. Stark doesn't have any template files. So then why use Stark? How can it be useful to you as a theme developer? With Stark set as the default theme on your local development site, you can examine the default markup and behavior provided by the Drupal system. Start can also be useful to utilize when you need to troubleshoot Drupal core behavior and output. In the same vein, switching temporarily to Stark might help you troubleshoot and isolate problems from other modules or themes. Stark also serves to provide some basic scaffolding for a theme by including some common theme files. These don't actually do anything except give you a bit of a head start on your own theme. Let's take a look at some of these files. In a code editor or IDE, return to your Drupal 8 demo site and navigate to core slash themes slash Stark. As you can see in stark.info.yml, Stark doesn't even include a base theme as the base theme key is set to false here in this file. Stark's breakpoints YAML file includes an example of breakpoints, but it doesn't have any corresponding media queries in its CSS files. Similarly, Stark's libraries YAML file shows you how to include CSS slash layout.css, but the layout.css file is empty and the library isn't included in Stark's info file. These are meant as non-intrusive examples to help you get started without having to refactor or tweak a bunch of styles or settings. In my view, one of the most useful things about Stark is the ability to discover Drupal's core system template files. It's good to know and see which templates Drupal provides and where they are applied without any other theme overriding them. Enabling Stark and using only system templates can also help you isolate or temporarily work around a bug in a theme or module. It might also help you identify a bug with the system template and give you an opportunity to contribute back to Drupal core. In this tutorial, we explored Stark and identified its primary features. We discussed its usefulness in discovering Drupal's system templates and default theme behavior. And we briefly discussed how it could be used as a troubleshooting tool to isolate problems that may be theme or module related. You can find links to tutorials that cover the concepts mentioned here in the written version of this tutorial.